Yo, yo, yo. My name is Jacques Slade, and welcome to my mind massage. So this is the Nike SP Dunk Adidas collab. They feature canvas and leather and rubber. special collaboration between Nike and the Haritos Beverage Company. If you don't know Haritos, they make orange soda, tamarind, mandarin, and you usually find them where you find tacos. They have the Haritos on the back. And they have Nike on the back of this one. But on the inside, it gets really special. special insoles. And on the insoles, you have all the flavors of Haritos. You also have the Nike SB collab. And for you skate geeks out there, these have Zoom. sneakerheads out there. They even come with extra laces. But the really cool thing about these is they have a surprise underneath. I started making videos on the internet way back in 2013. And what I wanted to do was find a way to make sneakers acceptable for everyone. So I started doing unboxings and reviews and it grew. People were interested. Sneakers tell so many stories. There's so much history for a lot of people. They're just shoes. But for someone like me, they're art, they're design, they're storytellers. Like this one tells the story of skateboarding through food. Who would have thought that something you wear on your feet could have such an attachment to the culture? The thing that made me focus on sneakers was basketball. I loved basketball first, but then I started to fall in love with sneakers. All of the older guys in my neighborhood that I looked up to, they always had these super cool shoes. And so I wanted those shoes so I could do the stuff that they were doing. Obviously, it didn't make me dunk or make three-pointers like they did, but in my mind, when I put on those shoes, I was just as cool as the older guys in my neighborhood. These are sneaker wipes. I made sneaker wipes because I wear sneakers all the time, and they get dirty when you wear them all the time. So I wanted a way that I could have something that I could just throw in my pocket and when need to, whip it out and clean my shoes.
But one of the really cool things about this shoe is that underneath this canvas, there is a special material and you can only see it if you skate in the shoes and wear it down. Since my skateboarding days are over, we're gonna take a shortcut. expensive sneaker I've ever unboxed is the Nike Adapt. Um, the retail price was $800. Now, a lot of shoes resell for more than that. I have shoes that resell for more than that. But when it comes to the retail price, the most expensive is the Nike Adapt. The first one that came out, it was made after the shoe from Back to the Future. If I had to pick a sport, that had the best sneakers, the only answer is basketball. They wear so many different styles. There's players that wear running shoes in the NBA to basketball shoes to really whatever you want. So NBA definitely takes the cake when it comes to the best sneakers. As you skate them, this will slowly start to tear away all over their shoe. And essentially, you'll have a used but new sneaker. I did not know that I was going to work with shoes. I didn't know this would be my future. I honestly just stumbled upon it and got really lucky. But I'm happy that sneakers found me and I found sneakers and I get to share works of art like these with the world. When it comes to my holy grails of sneakers, mine are all based on memories. So for me, it's the Converse Chuck Taylor. I grew up in LA and everyone wore Chuck Taylors when I was younger. So that shoe holds a special place in my heart. So I consider that one of my grails because it has such a, a meaning to me. The other is the Air Jordan 11, the patent leather. I, I bought my first pair from this girl that I had a crush on when I was young. She was a friend of one of my older cousins and I got to 
walk in the store with my own money and pay for the shoes and she was a cashier and it just made me feel like so cool in a sense i thought i thought i was a man in a sense because i was able to buy shoes from her so that shoe has a special place in my heart and then because i am such a hip-hop fan and grew up wanting to rap and all those things the shell toe adidas because of run dmc and the song my adidas that shoe always will hold a special place in my heart because it, it is the the epitome of a hip-hop sneaker in my opinion part of my job as an unboxer or as a youtuber in the world of sneakers is documenting sneaker culture and part of that happens with cameras this is my tool of choice this is the sony a7s3 with 24 to 105 lens Always keep a lens cap on to protect your glass. And just like any tool, sometimes you have to put it together. This is my tripod plate for when I have to use my tripod. Always need to have a fresh battery on deck. And then sometimes you need to change your lens. Jacques Slade, and thank you for coming to my mind massage.